think for a minute about the worst thunderstorm you've ever experienced. Lightning flashing brightly, thunder booming in your ears, wind howling, trees bending and rain falling heavy on the earth. Scary for sure. Now imagine if you were walking home in that storm with only a jacket to protect you. Scarier, right? Now think about lightning striking a tree near you close enough that you feel the static electricity on your skin. You see the bright flash and you hear the ear-splitting crack of lightning and thunder in nearly the same moment. Even scarier. This is where Martin Luther's journey in the church began, cowering in a horrible lightning storm and praying for God's mercy. From there, Martin Luther went from student, learning the basics of faith, to priest, leading worship, to teacher, digging deeper into God's word. And if he could have had his way, the rest of his life would have been just that simple. Serving in a small church and teaching at the university in Germany. But that's not how the story goes. We know that Luther found himself in conflict with church leaders, even the Pope, because he dared to speak up for the common people, most of whom were stuck in poverty and the simplest of education. Ultimately, he changed the face of the world because he wouldn't, he couldn't back down. He is famous for saying, unless I am convinced by scripture and by plain reason and not by Pope and councils who have so often contradicted themselves, my conscience is captive to the word of God. To go against conscience is neither right nor safe. I cannot and I will not recant. Here I stand. I can do no other. God help me. Fast forward 500 years and focus in at 544 North Broadway. And you will see the people of St. John's Lutheran Church. Together we live by grace through faith apart from works of the law. Let's see why folks from the youngest to the oldest individual, from the newest to the most seasoned members, love being Lutheran. So uh, I like being a Lutheran because uh, our big focus on grace um, you know, kind of leads us to go out into the community and help other people and stuff, which is really awesome. I love doing that. Uh, not only do I help other people, but it, you know, get a lot out of it. And uh, yeah, I love love, do, love doing community service here in Knoxville and uh, being a Lutheran is a big part of that. So. I love being a Lutheran because um, I always come in with an open heart and an open mind and I can learn something from each and every member of the congregation. Everyone has something to give, everyone has a different interpretation on what we're learning, and it has just taught me to love so greatly and to appreciate the world in a different light due to those around me and just the abundant love and surrounding support that I'm always constantly surrounded by. Being a Lutheran is a lot like Star Wars, right? So you got the Empire and you got the Rebel Alliance and the Lutherans are kind of like the Rebel Alliance, right? 
And that's, I mean, I grew up watching Star Wars, and the, the Rebels are just like the Lutherans, right? I mean, no, that's, that is true, but that's not the only reason I like being a Lutheran. I could sit here and talk to them blue in the face about all the things I like about being Lutheran. Um, and one of the things that I like so much about it is kind of how it started with Martin Luther um, and him thinking objectively. Uh, he certainly wasn't perfect, but I think that we still embody much of what he went for um, in his original sort of intent to reform the Catholic Church. I think that we don't think we have it all figured out, that we understand that we're not perfect and that we're always trying to um, do things better and, and with more love and to, to reflect, reflect Christ and how he did things. So. Um, I love being a Lutheran. Always have been, always will be. I love being a Lutheran! Oh, yeah. Being a Lutheran is a way of life. It's about finding, finding God's grace every day. With all of my imperfections, we're called to love each other as Christ loved us. It's that simple. I like coming to St. John's because of the welcoming nature of the people here. It's a beautiful, open place. Um, it's the highlight of my week. It fills me up and I feel the presence of God here. When I'm asked why do I love being Lutheran, it's because of grace. A lot of denominations tell you what you have to do or what you can't do in order to receive God's love, but in the Lutheran tradition we say that it is by grace and not by works. And so I love being Lutheran for that, for the reception of God's grace, for knowing that it is undeserved by me and totally free from God. And it makes me happy knowing that I can live in God's grace. What I really like about uh, being a Lutheran is it's all about grace. It's about the grace, the love of God that shared with us through the uh, bread and the wine of communion and through our forgiveness that we get. You know, I talk about um, grace often when I'm making bread because you can make the ugliest looking um, loaf with the dough and you wait for it to rise, it starts to look nicer, you wait for the baking process to conclude and you end up with something that's beautiful and tasty and fulfilling and that's what God's grace is all about. I love being Lutheran because I'm I think a fifth or sixth generation Lutheran. We've got a very German tradition of it in our family. And I was raised in the Lutheran Church and have been a member of a Lutheran Church all my life. And my husband and I came to St. John's about six years ago. And we are excited to raise our first child as a Lutheran. So we will welcome him in November and Mac will be part of the Lutheran tra tradition. And that's why I love being Lutheran. It's all about grace and being a beloved child of God and that there's enough room at the table for everyone. The reason I think we love being Lutheran is because we were looking for, again, a family that um, could silence most of the noise in the world. And I think that St. John's has been uh, very open and honest uh, and accepting to many different people from many different walks. And I think that's important in today's world um, that's filled with a lot of chaos and uh, polarization. I think St. John's accepts that and tries to find ways to fix it through love. And that's why we love being Lutheran. So what I love about being a Lutheran is sort of consistently getting to hear, we consistently get to hear about the gift of grace and how there's nothing we could do to make God love us anymore or any less. And I find that as a mother, I think about that a lot. And I tell my kids that too, anytime they mess up. Um, I remind them, you know, doesn't change the way I feel about them at all. Um, but I also, I love to remind them too that when they do really good things that, um, you know, it doesn't necessarily earn them anything they don't already have as that gift of grace. So um, I definitely um, take it to heart personally, but also as a mother, I remind them all the time that um, there's nothing that they could do either to make God love them more or less. What I love about being a Lutheran is it's not about being a Lutheran. It's about God's love freely given as a gift to everyone. No matter who you are, where you're from, what you're up to, God loves you because that's who God is. It's grace. One beautiful way Luther had of expressing that is to say it is enough for the true essence of church that the gospel, the good news of God's love for everyone, for free, 
be proclaimed in its purity, not our purity. We don't have to get everything right. But the purity of God's love for all of us. And that the sacraments, the experience of this truth of God's love coming into the world through baptism and communion, be administered in accordance with that gospel of God's love freely given to all. And as a result, we've got all these partnerships with other branches of the church family, and it gets a little messy, but, you know, we can trust that we can sort it out because of God's love. For instance, I'm working with Episcopalians at a campus ministry at UT, and we are about to ordain a new bishop for the Episcopal Church in this area, and we are going to have a, an even song for everyone at Tyson House the first Friday in December. I'm writing music for it, and it goes something like this. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And then everyone sings. Oh God, make speed to save us. Oh Lord, make haste to help us. As it was in the beginning, He is now, and will be forever. Amen. to do that because I'm a Lutheran. Many of you know I was blessed to grow up Southern Baptist and I received incredible gifts from that faith tradition. One of those gifts was the gift of grace. However, that gift of grace was explained to me in such a way that it was more about keeping me out of trouble rather than living in the present. It was about an eternal salvation, which is a beautiful gift. The truth is, if I wait to experience grace, after I die, eternally in heaven, it's wonderful, but I've missed out on so many opportunities right here, right now. Things like loving people who are very different than me and speaking up for those who don't have a voice. I miss out on the opportunity of seeing God in the most minute details, as well as the most, most glorious plans. I miss out on the opportunity of being a pastor who proclaims that we are saved by grace through faith apart from works of the law. That is why I love being a Lutheran. Okay, why am I Lutheran? Well, I've inherited my Lutheranism from a long line of saints and witnesses that have gone before. You can see right here, I am surrounded by Martin Luther and his buddies. I've also got my mom and dad here. You know, my grandparents were Lutherans, and so my mom and my dad were Lutheran. And so I inherited my Lutheranism when I was baptized at Center Grove Lutheran Church in Kannapolis, North Carolina, February 7th, 1954. But that's not all. Not only is family and inheritance a big part of my Lutheranism, but the faith that we share the faith that is ours, justification by grace through faith, faith alone. That was the, the, the hallmark of the Reformation. And so the faith of Lutheranism that we share, that we've inherited from the long line of saints, that's so important. And finally, Lutheranism. Lutheranism is a denomination and an expression of Christian faith that has promise and, and purpose purpose of inclusivity, purpose of being a diverse denomination, purpose of loving our neighbor. You know, I, I'm a Lutheran because Lutherans are lovable. Lutherans are lovable, Lutherans are huggable, and I am so thankful that my family of faith are Lutherans. The words of Martin Luther. This life therefore is not righteousness, but growth in righteousness, not health, but healing, not being, but becoming, not rest, but exercise. We are not yet what we shall be, but we are growing toward it. The process is not yet finished, 
but it is going on. This is not the end, but it is the road. All does not yet gleam in glory, but all is being purified.